Central Florida has ended 2023 mostly unscathed from any storm damage, but already many Floridians, including business owners, are prepping for next hurricane season. FEMA says about 25% of businesses do not reopen after disasters, but I spoke to one entrepreneur who lost her business to a hurricane, but reopened with added protections to make sure a natural disaster never puts her out of business again. I lost everything in just one day. Beatriz Diaz barely survived Hurricane Maria. My house, two cars, business, everything in one day. Everything was flooded. I was sleeping in a balcony of the house for 51 days. Beatriz is a biologist. I developed formulas that are exclusive for my business. She was just a month away from opening a storefront when the storm wiped out thousands of dollars of inventory. And I go to North Carolina with nothing. And at that moment, my English was almost zero. My profession, I am biologist, but I don't have the language. I'm going to get a job. I start from zero. I just get a cashier uh, job. Six years later and now living in Central Florida, her business is once again up and running. She looked for resources that were available and she took advantage of them. President of the National Entrepreneur Center, Belinda Kirkgaard, says preparation goes beyond insurance and documentation. It's truly understanding who your audiences are. It's employees, it's your suppliers, and your clients. Essentially, having answers to the real life scenarios that set businesses back in the minutes after a storm hits. How do an employee find out whether or not they have to report to work? How do you communicate to them? How do you get them into work? Also having various forms of contact so you can avoid things like waste. Communicating with your suppliers. So if you've got a, a inventory that's going to be delivered on a day that, you know, the, the shop doesn't have an electricity, do you have a way as a business owner to get a hold uh, of your supplier? And it might not even be a major disaster that sets you back. Some of the businesses in downtown Orlando, when the scaffolding off a building off Orange Avenue came down, we saw many businesses that had to shut down for a period of time because there was no ability for them to attract clients. Those are things that, that, that are also important to be prepared for, that resiliency planning. And with every business being different, every resiliency plan looks different. You don't know what you don't know and that's when sitting down with a coach or a mentor and asking those questions this is my business how do I make it more resistant to any kind of disruption and that sitting down with them and kind of flushing out the particulars of your specific business is important so now with a new plan to fortify her business Beatriz says she'll never let a natural disaster defeat her or her livelihood again I'm prepared for everything in response to past emergencies, the state of Florida has rolled out bridge loans to small businesses, so those loans come with little to no interest.